students online am i audible yes sir am i audible and clear yes sir hmm. perfect so only 40 people wrote this mock just 40 considering all the batches except seven and the six batches kalipi so there will be hardly 120 students only 40 wrote mock seven why himal adutunnaru enduku anukuntunnaru most of the students have given up six marks are sent tarvata if they are not satisfied with their performance and the people students tend to give up so if you continue your preparation till november okay you will easily get 90% and first one ante chaala aithe ante there is a maximum probability of getting 90% మరి ఇంక దరిద్రం దొబ్బితే ఏం చేయలేము మనం సో మై అడ్వైస్ వుడ్ బి ఓకే డోంట్ స్టాప్ యువర్ క్యాట్ ప్రిపరేషన్ అంత నౌ కమింగ్ టు లాజికల్ రీజనింగ్ సెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ మార్క్ సెవెన్ హవ్ ఈస్ దట్ how is the logical reasoning section of mock 7 difficult easy moderate no i feel like lr section of mock 7 is easy when compared to all the other mocks apukuntaru apukura easy even i was shocked looking at uh, sets with six questions how can he give a set uh, with six questions of the difficulty and the easy difficulty chala kada so how many of you did not get 12 marks 12 marks raleda how how many of you did not get 24 marks and the 12 to 24 what if i can tell you that you can solve 16 questions in 40 minutes in this mock 16 questions and with enough practice ever what chase adam got because we have students who attempted 17 questions 51 ochindi one of your friends ke 48 ochindi then see where are you lagging behind i don't feel like you are not able to solve questions adikat so problem is elsewhere problem is logic understand cheskodam lone edo kadu so you are not uh, being able to handle time pressure which is the most important thing to crack uh, cat not only cat any competitive exam ante na kada because if you solve this paper now without time limit i i am sure that you will solve four sets out of the given five sets easy goes but solving those questions under time limit is the chart okay now let's analyze this paper so let's go set by four set now tell me how many of you wasted time in this set anyone this is the first set kada um do we have anyone uh, who wasted time solving the questions from this set everyone unnar how many of you skip this set at the first instance perfect edena time consuming set unnadante out of these five sets this is the one like a difficult time god time taking and so no one perfect ever layer how many of you skip this set just by looking at the graph 
How many of you did not solve this set? Quick responses. Chaileda. So there are six questions, Kada. So you you should get eighteen marks. Him lochan chesa wa. Two wa. Why not six? Attempted but went wrong. Okay. Now this is definitely a doable set. Kada. Six questions. In the easy this to non Japanese in the expert chain. Out of these two questions, I have to attempt this. Now they'll same jail. So even if it take uh, 15 minutes or 20 minutes, after 20 minutes, until in 20 minutes, I can get 18 marks. 18 marks na jail on nothing about confidence. Okay. Now we'll discuss where you went wrong. This one, question from selections and groupings. How many of you did not attempt this question? Okay. But four marks, six plus four, ten, thirty marks. How many of you did not attempt this? Okay, only one, two. Ma, understand selections and grouping chala easy. Aye munda to. Okay, we cannot afford leaving any question from selections and grouping. Then selections and grouping first class lo kore dejo. Man ke telsin topics and question was to budle de mente. Okay, so four questions. This is definitely a doable set. But first, second, and third, I will pick the second set. Safe bet. Clear. No. Okay. This one. No, I like the uh, in the data sets we have solved in numeric logic. Same aim like this is not a question from data interpretation. The bar graph also some of them like all you need to do is you need to uh, write these rupees in a tabular form and the remaining you are given with in terms of percentages, ratios, or differences. And this is again doable. Can I will be attempting second set first? In the gunny, six questions. Okay. Idi. In Chileda, Chase out. So eighteen marks. Eighteen marks. In the gunny. Even the easiest, easiest set. How many of you and they did not get time to solve this set? Me time led. Me question a chore led. And then you did not scan the complete paper without starting the question. Me never in check to none. Spend five minutes. Okay, sir, children. Understand what is given in the question and what were you asked on that question. Idi. I cannot expect that you will get these type of questions, uh, these type of sets with six questions. Okay, I rendu bananas, chakako, which petty make twelve questions may attempt chayach and jepich. So thirty six marks you can easily get at least thirty marks at minimum. Power. See, out of forty one students, you have two students who got fifty one and forty eight. Think about all India. Level. You did this all correct. Perfect. Okay. Now, if I have to analyze this paper, this is first question, moderate to hard. It will take a lot of time to solve those four questions because four are independent questions. Now, second thing, web chart, easy to moderate, which have six questions. So you can get under 40 minutes. Dean will spend this now. Easy, 18 marks of or if you spend 40 minutes on this set, numeric logic, you'll get 18 marks. Okay, so you have one question from selections and grouping. Selections and grouping question was the please don't leave it. So six plus six, 12, 12 plus four, 16. 
సో ఎవ్రీ వన్ విల్ సాల్వ్ సిక్స్టీన్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ పేపర్ రైట్ ఆర్ రాంగ్ పక్కన పెట్టచ్చు అండి ఈవెన్ ఎ పర్సన్ వితౌట్ ఇనఫ్ ప్రిపరేషన్ క్యాన్ అటెంప్ట్ ఆల్ దీస్ సిక్స్టీన్ క్వశ్చన్స్ కానీ కరెక్ట్ గా వస్తే సిక్స్టీన్ క్వశ్చన్స్ హిల్ బి అహెడ్ ఆఫ్ యూ కదా కదా సో పేపర్ కష్టంగా ఉన్నప్పుడు ఇట్స్ ఫైన్ పేపర్ ఈజీగా ఉన్నప్పుడు యూ కెన్ నాట్ ఎఫర్డ్ మేకింగ్ మిస్టేక్స్ ఎందుకంటే ఒక్క క్వశ్చన్ తేడా వచ్చినా సరే పర్సంటైల్ జంప్ చాలా ఎక్కువ ఉంటుంది ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ టెన్ ఈజీ క్వశ్చన్స్ వచ్చాయి అనుకుందాం టెన్ కి టెన్ అందు కరెక్ట్ చేసే వాళ్ళు చాలా ఎక్కువ మంది ఉంటారు సో యూ షుడ్ బి వన్ ఆఫ్ దెమ్ మీరు ఒక్క క్వశ్చన్ తప్పు చేసినా సరే మీకు మీకన్నా ఎక్కువ వచ్చిన వాళ్ళు చాలా మంది ఉంటారు సో ద పర్సంటైల్ వేర్ ఈస్ అ లాట్ సో ఆల్వేస్ ప్రే దట్ ఎయిదర్ ద పేపర్ షుడ్ బి హార్డ్ ఆర్ మోడరేట్ యూ కెన్ నాట్ ఎఫర్డ్ మేకింగ్ మిస్టేక్స్ ఇన్ ఎన్ ఈజీ ట్రిప్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ గ్యాట్ ఇన్ ఆల్ కాంపిటేటివ్ ఎగ్జామ్ now now coming to this question so how many of you want to solve this question now or shall we discuss you want ante mik time kavala ledante shall we solve it together solve it together discuss okay now what are we given with two friends mr a and mr b went to a game show in which each contestant attempts to answer questions uh, maximum number of times to earn maximum prize money okay there were 10 questions in total and in each quiz so, my bad so in each quiz so there were 10 sorry 10 pieces in total and in each quiz uh, each contestant have to answer 20 questions so in total they will be answering 200 questions okay for every correct answer contestant earns 10 euros or 10 pounds now the cumulative accuracy of for each contestant was calculated at the end of every quiz so if you miss this term cumulative accuracy you will end up getting wrong answers for all these questions so average the questions the answers tappo chayo they did not read this statement carefully the cumulative accuracy for each contestant was calculated at end of every quiz now we'll discuss what is cumulative accuracy and the total number of correct answers until the end of the quiz as a percentage of total number of questions answered and the following chart provides information on cumulative accuracy of each of them at the end of every quiz so for example if i take quiz 1 okay nen em led indu nochina percentages i will make it table whatever the data that was given in this question and in this bar graph i will be making a table like this. so each quiz has how many questions 20 questions okay now cumulative correct answers quiz wise correct answers now in quiz 1 the percentage uh, the accuracy percentage of a is 50 and b is 60 so in each quiz you have 20 questions so how many did uh, a got right in quiz 1 10 and b 12 now what do you mean by cumulative accuracy what is the 70% now combining test uh, quiz 1 and quiz 2 considering the total number of 40 questions okay 70% of them were right mega unde we have discussed cumulative interest in simple interest compound interest gurtundu kada previous interest plus that year's interest okay interest earned till previous year plus that year will give you cumulative interest isn't it now so total there were 40 questions uh, at the end of quiz 2 the percentage accuracy of a is 70 so what were the total number of correct answers made by a till quiz 2 28 okay then 65 percent of 40 26 Fine. now quiz 3 so by the end of quiz 3 they have they each have answered 60 questions okay and their accuracy cumulative accuracy is 70 and 70 and 
forty two, forty two. Now by the end of piece four, they have answered eighty, sixty seven point five. Enter. Sixty seven point five of eighty, fifty four, fifty four or fifty six. Ma, what is fifty four? Kadma, sixty seven point five. Okay, so this is fifty four and seventy percent. Seventy percent of eighty, fifty six. Next, so seventy and sixty five. Now, with six, so total number of attempted uh, questions uh, were one hundred and twenty. Out of them, sixty four, sixty five percent were right. And seventy, sixty five, one twenty, sixty five into one point two, sixty five plus thirteen. Uh, Gather, sorry, seventy eight, hmm. and sixty two point five, seventy five. Now sixty five, sixty five. One forty, one forty or sixty-five percent. Now one sixty, one sixty or sixty-five percent. And here one zero four. Now one eighty, one eighty or sixty-five percent. And sixty percent of one eighty. One zero eight. Now sixty-five percent of two hundred. One thirty. Sixty-two point five percent of two hundred, one twenty-five. Now we have the total number of right answers made by A and B at the end of each quiz. I pin that. So, and by the end of quiz one, they have A has ten answers correct, B has twelve answers correct. By the end of quiz two, twenty-eight. Ah, uh, ah, uh, twenty-eight correct answers are marked by A, twenty-six by B. At the end of quiz three, forty-two and forty-two, and so on. Now we have the correct answers marked by these two students at the end of each round. Now from this, can we determine the number of correct answers made in each round? Yes. So first round, ten and twelve. Now in round two, eighteen. So twenty-eight allow chundi. Ten plus the correct answers marked by A in round two. So twenty-eight minus ten, eighteen. And twenty six minus twelve, fourteen. Clear? Students online, any doubt still here? How can you explain quiz wise correct answers again? Quiz wise correct answers. Well. So, okay. So did you get how we get one thirty, one twenty five, one seventeen, one not eight, and yes, these sir. values? Okay. Yes, sir. So what are the number of correct answers? Uh, Made by A in quiz one, ten and twelve. Now after quiz two, and in both quiz one and quiz two combined, okay. So twenty-eight correct answers are marked by A, isn't it? So out of which ten were marked in quiz one, and the remaining eighteen were marked in quiz two. Yes, sir. No. So this is eighteen, fourteen, then. In quiz three, so three quizzes kalipi, forty-two correct answers. So till quiz two, twenty-eight. So remaining fourteen were marked in quiz three, and here sixteen. Now fifty-four. This is fourteen. Sorry, this is twelve and this is fourteen. My bad. Twelve, fourteen. Seventy minus fifty-four. Sixteen, brother. Sixteen. Sixteen and nine. Here eight, ten, thirteen, sixteen, thirteen and thirteen. Thirteen. Ante. So if you solve till here, you can get all the six questions right.
What is the difficulty in filling this table? Aim let go. Now, if I look at questions, how much prize money was won by B in quiz five? Okay, one, two, ninety. Okay, total money uh, won by both the contestants was highest in which quiz? Quiz one, quiz two, quiz three, quiz four. A put into the maximum. When the sum of those two correct answers made by A and B should be maximum, you can answer this. Now, in how many quizzes did uh, Mr. A win more prize than Mr. B? This value should be more than this value. Now, if another contest, Mr. X had an accuracy of ten percent uh, in quiz one, twenty in quiz two, thirteen in quiz three, and so on, with hundred percent accuracy in quiz ten. So, what would be the difference between the total prize money won by X? And the total prize money won by Mr. A. Now, Mr. A, what just done? This is last solve, chey, alla. Okay. In the context, Miguel, you mean table no choose? Kunda or just? Okay. So the total prize uh, won by both the contestants together in uh, is the lowest in which quiz? Mainly sum chey star. The quiz which has the minimum number of uh, right answers. Will be the answer for this question. Mm, how much the total money? Uh, total money won by Mr. A in the first five quizzes. So sum of uh, these five into ten, or sum of these five minus sum of these five into ten will give you the answer. Pony, fourth question. So first answer lo ten percent accuracy. So number of right answers. Next four, six, eight, so on till twenty. So two into one plus two plus three, so on ten. What is the sum of first and natural numbers? Fifty-five. Ten into eleven by two. Two into fifty-five. One hundred and ten. Okay. So he had one total one hundred and ten questions right. One hundred and ten into ten will give you the total amount won the won by that person. So eleven hundred. Thirteen hundred minus eleven hundred, two hundred will be the answer. So how much time is required to solve this set? Ten minutes, Pune. Fifteen minutes, Anukundam. Fifteen minutes. Tally pitta nayo, Anand Janno. Fifteen minutes, Anukundam. So in fifteen minutes, you can have eighteen marks. Chakra the tally pitta. Fifteen minutes no eighteen marks. Everyone, top of this, Sunte. That's only because they did not read this carefully, and you cannot afford doing these mistakes in that. Eight star darvat. Ache sir, mera. Okay. No ache sir. So we have uh, three students who misread this question. Come. And then, any doubts? Students online, any doubts? Quick responses. Others. So, if it any marks only, eighteen marks. Mainly, in course six set question no galna. Okay. Ha. How many of you did not read this question at all? Chadiver, chee sir. I'll give you six minutes. Try solving this question in six minutes. Students online, how many of you did not read this question at all? Anyone? Only two. Others. So I'll do one thing. Six minutes, just now. We'll discuss this after six minutes.
Any answers? Done? Students online. Done. One minute. Now just tell me the logic. And the price for any box kept in a factory depends on the number of shirts for which the box is packed and on the brand of the shirts in the box. Each box has certain number of shirts. However, all shirts in a box are of the same brand. Okay. The price per shirt for three brands of shirts are uh, A, ABC, PQR, and DEF uh, is 12, 15, and 18, respectively. The factory dispatches 10 box against an order, box one through box 10, of which there are three boxes of ABC, three of PQR, and four of DEF. Further, it is also known that the number of shirts for which uh, each box is packed is a whole number. So you have and four shirts being packed or five shirts being packed. So you have three boxes of ABC shirts, three boxes of PQR, and four boxes of DEF. Now, what can you comment on the total price of the box in which ABC are packed? Multiple of 12. Because it is given that uh, all shirts in a box are of same brand. You cannot have in a box, you cannot have some shirts of ABC, some, some shirts of PQR, and some shirts of DEF. Is it a customer? But when this is given, the prices of box uh, containing ABC shirts should be a multiple of 12. PQR should be a multiple of 15. DEF should be a multiple of 18. And you are given with prices of each box. Now you need to identify which box is containing which brand of shirts. Okay. Now box one, brand. ABC, because this is a multiple of only 12. So you have three numbers, 12, 15, and 18. Now 12 is a multiple of, sorry, 24 is a multiple of only 12. So I am sure that this box contains shirts of brand ABC. Has got any shirts? Two shirts. Now 90. 90 is a multiple of what? 15 and 18. So this box might contain shirts of PQR or DEF. Okay. So it prasthan godalatta. Okay. Ponikada. This can be either PQR or DEF. This is ABC for sure. So two shirts. So if these shirts are of PQR brand, then how many? Six. If these shirts are of DEF, Now 54, 54 is a multiple of 18. So I'm sure that this has a uh, shirts of DEF. Then 60, 60 is a multiple of either 12 or 15. We do not know. Then 54, DEF, 30, PQR, then 54, DEF, then 72. Either ABC or DEF. Okay. 30. PQR. Clear? Now same. This will be DEF. This will be DEF. This is PQR. This is DEF. This is PQR. And we need to have three boxes of ABC. PQR, 3, DEF, 4. Now, considering first possibility. So you have three PQRs. For the, so first and second. Now these are done. Now, what can we conclude? Box 4, because this can be either ABC or D or PQR. Now we are done with three boxes of PQR shirts. So this should be ABC. Okay. Now, now we are done with two ABCs and 
three DEFs. So this should be DEF, and this will be ABC for sure. One possibility. Now second possibility. Here we have four DEFs. So the remaining should be you. You need to have a uh, one PQR and two ABC. Okay. Now what do we have? Which is PQR short for short? Box ten. Because ninety on the other. So this is not a multiple of ABC. Okay. So this should be PQR. Now you are done with three PQRs, four DEFs. So the remaining two should be. Inka inka when a possibility is done. Done. Okay. Now let's calculate number of shots. This will be three here. Sorry, five. Gada, my bad. Fifty-four. Again, three. Then PQR. Two. Then DEF. Three. This will be six. This will be two. This will be. This will be five. So the confusion is with respect to only this. Now tell me how much time do you need to solve this, sir? Ten minutes, I'm going to. So fifteen minutes for set two. Ten minutes for ten or only fifteen. I'm going to leave fifteen minutes. I'm going to. Okay, only fifteen minutes. I'm going to. So in thirty minutes, you have twelve correct answers. And the twenty-four mark. Remaining on a four, the end of the ten minutes, kada. So if you can, uh, if you had invested those ten minutes in either the question from selection, selections and grouping, or uh, the bar graph one, okay, you will get forty-eight marks. So in half an hour, in this paper, you can uh, score thirty-six for sure. Kada. And then. Thirty-six marks, Ravacha. Without any difficult questions, and I'm literally surprised to see uh, questions of this this much easy difficulty in sets of six questions. Okay, so between these two, this is easy when compared to the second set. So how many of you did not solve this? In the corner, time lag. And the more mundane things are done. That's your mistake, Kada. Okay, you have not in you did not invest uh, five minutes to score eighteen marks. And the other, uh, and just before starting the exams, just going through sets will be used. Clear? Students online, any doubts? Quick responses. तक मार्क्स वस्ते लाजिकल रीजनिंग बैड ईजी क्वेश्चन टीचे अंत ओके नौ हाउ मेनी आफ यू डिड नाट साव दिशे टेक फाइव मिनट विल डिस्क दिस् आफ्टर फाइव मिनट First question was a tricky one. First, how many answers did you get? First question. Okay. So take five minutes. We'll discuss this after five minutes.
general situation just to see we don't want neutral non situation which one then i can use so for example should it is if dish 1 is in the buffet neither dish 8 nor this uh, dish 9 can be in the buffet so if if you have dish 1 then you cannot have dish 9 or dish 8 in the plan it isn't a waste kada so you are given with condition with respect to dish 1 dish 8 and dish 9 kada avu rasukunte saripothundi kada dish 1 unte dish 8 dish 9 undakodu if you have either dish 8 or dish 9 you cannot have dish 1 అలా అంటావా ఇప్పుడు డిస్ట్ ఉన్నది అనుకో యూ కెన్ ఎయిదర్ హ్యావ్ ఆర్ యూ కెన్ నాట్ హ్యావ్ బోత్ హౌస్ అట్ మోస్ట్ వన్ అమౌంట్ డిస్ త్రీ అండ్ డిస్ సిక్స్ కెన్ బి ప్రెసెంట్ అంటే యూ కెన్ హ్యావ్ వితౌట్ త్రీ అండ్ వితౌట్ సిక్స్ హ్యాస్ అదే అంటున్నాను కదా ఇదంతా బెస్ట్ డిష్ వన్ ఉన్నప్పుడు ఏంటి యూ కెన్ నాట్ హ్యావ్ డిష్ ఎయిట్ అండ్ డిష్ నైన్ సో అలా ఇంటర్ప్రిట్ చేసుకుంటే మనకి ఈజీ సో డిష్ వన్ ఉంటే డిష్ ఫైవ్ ఉండొచ్చు ఫోర్ ఉండొచ్చు అంత వేస్ట్ కదా టైమ్ వేస్ట్ ఎవరు అలా అవన్నీ so in 45 minutes we have discussed two sets in 40 minutes i can expect you guys to solve those two sets kada so next time mera same mistake repeat cheyakunda chusukondi ante
Any answers? Answer for first question, Japan. What's the answer for first question? Again, six minutes sign and then make it set it. What's the answer for first question? Students online. Answer. Eight day. Eleven, huh? Okay. Now, is this difficult? Mari, I answers out the mock test scores out. But I don't know if I'm But I don't know if I'm going What if this is the real cat exam? Can we afford making these mistakes? No. And there should be learning from mock 1 to 6 or 2 to 6. There should be some learning. So every in every mock, if you are getting less than 12 marks or less than 24 marks, then what is the use of writing these many marks until and unless you show some improvement? Okay. On the accuracy levels very good. Okay. But attempts child talk phone. Okay. So one to five, we're oxid chaser. Now five to ten. Attempt two sets. One set chaser. You will not get uh, you cannot cross sectional cutoff. Just by attempting one set. That's the good One set attempts is four questions. Until and unless the paper is really difficult, you cannot cross sectional cutoff. Sectional cutoff cross challenge minimum six questions. Because one will be an easy set for sure. Everyone will, everyone will do that set. So you have to do it. And you have to do two more extra questions to cross the sectional person. Cut. Okay. So what's your learning? Na kante kontaman scores from this naru four questions hundred percent accuracy perfect hundred percent and very good but you increase your attempts but don't take time pressure and malle malle jab na na okay so initial ka time pressure chhod kon ante time map chhod kon only attempt two sets your aim is to attempt only two sets eight questions twenty four marks first one set and jab kanga da ifo two sets. Two sets and 40, um, uh, sorry, 40 minutes, 20 questions. 40 minutes, eight questions. And eight questions are correct. I need 24 marks from everyone. And in these papers, you can get 24 marks for sure. And the questions are difficult on but these are easy questions. All right. So time pressure consum patak pet is and allowed just get habituate. Okay. Now in this question, Mr. Johnson, a restaurant owner, wants to start a buffet plan uh, which includes six dishes. He wants to select these six dishes from a group of ten. So dish one to dish ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Ensuring that there are at least as many vegetarian dishes in the buffet as there are non vegetarian dishes. So the number of vegetarian dishes should be greater than or equal to number of non vegetarian dishes. Okay. Now among these 10 dishes, 1, 3, 7, 8, and 9 are non vegetarian. One, three, seven, eight, and nine. So remaining five are vegetarian dishes. Now we are given that if dish two is in the buffet 
at most one among dish three and dish six can be in the buffet. And what's the meaning of the statement? If you have two, you can have either three and eight. You can have three, but not six. Or you can have six, but not three. Or you cannot have any two of them. Clear? No. If dish one is in the buffet, neither dish eight nor dish nine can be in the buffet. So if you have one, you cannot have eight. And what is the other logical deduction? If you have eight or nine, you cannot have one. Okay. Then between dish four, dish five, and dish uh, six, at least one dish must be in the buffet, and at most two dishes can be in the buffet. So from four, five, six, you need to have at least one or two. Now, if dish five is in the buffet, neither dish two nor dish ten can be in the buffet. Okay. Now, if dish nine is in the buffet, dish four must also be in the buffet. Nine implies four. And what is the other logical deduction? If you do not have four, you cannot have nine. Now. In how many ways can Mr. Johnson select the buffet plan such that there are equal number of non-vegetarian dishes and vegetarian dishes in the buffet? So, if we clear, Kada, now can I erase this part? Sir, I have a doubt here. Yes, tell me. Now. Sir, in the second statement, if dish one is in the buffet, neither D, I mean dish eight and nine can be in that, right? Huh. So, can we consider them both together, not being both together, no? No, if it is given that uh, eight on the court to nine on the court. If you have dish one, you cannot have eight, you cannot have nine. And can we have both eight and nine? No. Okay. The other logical reduction is if you have eight or nine, you cannot have one. Clear? No, sir. It's like you wrote it as no eight and okay. or no nine, right? Yeah. Instead, okay, can no. huh. and In, instead, can we write end like and, both eight, and eight 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 and No, and eight. Uh, if one is uh, in the buffet, eight cannot be in the buffet, and nine cannot be in the buffet. And now we can have only eight or only nine. Now, when one is in the buffet. You cannot have either eight or let me split it in this way. And if one is in the buffet, you cannot have nine. Clear? Now, eight and nine, and they, they cannot be together when one is in the buffet. If one is in the buffet, you can have only eight or only nine. Can it? But when one is in the buffet, Neither dish eight can be in the bucket. So if one is there, then you cannot have eight. Okay. Nor nine. So if one is uh, in the buffet, you cannot have nine in the bucket. Clear? Yes, sir. And, okay. and for the ah. first statement also, sir, at ah. most, can you explain at most again? What is at most? Maximum. Yes, sir. Okay. So if two is selected, Okay, at most one among dish three and this uh, sorry and this six can be in the buffet. And can we have both three and six with two? Not possible. Okay. You can have either three or six, and you cannot also have both of them. Okay, you can form a buffet with two, without three and without six as well. Sir, how is that possible? At most one, for example. Now select a number from uh, and pick a value having at most two on an Pick any number, any integer whose value is at most two. What will you pick? How many chances do we have? And how many possibilities do we have? Two. What are they? Either one or zero. 
ओके और टू आल्सो का तो एट मोस्ट टू सो यू हैव थ्री चांसेस जीरो वन और टू नो इफ दिस टू इज सेलेक्टेड इफ टू इज सेलेक्टेड एट मोस्ट वन अमंग थ्री एंड सिक्स कैन बी सेलेक्टेड एंड यू कैन सेलेक्ट एट मोस्ट वन एंड यू कैन सेलेक्ट इधर थ्री और सिक्स ओके और यू कैन आल्सो हैव अ बफे विदाउट थ्री एंड सिक्स क्लियर Is it clear? For sure. So my doubt is why no three and no six. At most means either of them can be selected, right? No. At most means it's not either or. Maximum. Okay. So for example, uh, okay. So your friends plan to go to a movie. So they call you. Okay. There are three tickets left. Okay. So they ask you to bring your friends along with you also. So how many? At most three. So how many members can you take? Maximum three along with you. And either you can take three of your friends, or two, or one, or you can also go alone. Isn't it? Oh, yes, sir. Got it. Okay. Understood. Oh. Yes. Now can I erase this? Fine. So, what are the non-vegetarian dishes? One, one, three, seven, eight, nine. So, vegetarian. Two, four, five, six, and ten. Now, here, in how many ways can Mr. Johnson uh, select the buffet plan such that there are an equal number of non vegetarian and vegetarian dishes in the buffet and you need to have three three non vegetarian and three vegetarian so in how many ways can you select three among these five name one if one is selected then you cannot have eight or nine so if you select one what can be the uh, other two non vegetarian dishes either three or seven okay only one possibility kada now we'll see without selecting one how many possibilities do we have okay how many now do we have any condition with respect to 3 no so you can have 3 7 8 3 7 9 3 8 9 and then then 7 8 and 9 so you have five ways of selecting three dishes three non vegetarian dishes uh, from 1 3 7 8 and 9 done even the five ways inkem enna unnaya no okay because we, ma, selecting one you have only one way selecting only three you have only so you, you have three ways now without selecting one and without selecting three you have one more way of picking three dishes from these five now we are done with non vegetarian dishes now coming to vegetarian dishes okay now if uh, five five where is five if five is in the buffet neither two nor 10 can be selected so let me select five first you cannot have two you cannot have 10 so what should be the remaining two dishes four and six done endukane Which one? Between four, five, and six, huh, at least one dish must be in the buffet, and at most two. So this cannot be a possibility. Okay. So with five, you cannot form a group of three from five. Now, so you are left with two, four, six, and ten. Now, if I select two, two, four, six, then. Two six ten, two four ten, and then four six ten. Now these are the possible possibilities of selecting uh, three from these four. Now, now let me consider two four six. 
Now, two, four, six being the non uh, vegetarian dishes, can we have one, three, seven as non vegetarian dishes? Possible or not possible? Yes or no? No, no sir. Why? Sir, both three and six are here. You cannot have both three and six along with two. Okay, so this is not possible. This one, no. This one, no. This one, no. Because you have two and six, you cannot have three. So two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Possible? Possible. So when the vegetarian dishes are two, four, and six, you have only one way of selecting non-vegetarian dishes. Now two, six, and ten. This is not possible. This is not possible because you cannot have two, six, and three. This is not possible. This is not possible. Is it possible? Other nine on dal and eight on dal. Do we have four here? Ma two, six, and ten. Other. So what are the total six dishes? Two, six, ten, seven, eight, nine. Now what is the condition with respect to nine? You need to also have four. So you cannot form a buffet with two, six, and ten being vegetarian dishes. Now two, four, and ten. You can have one, three, seven because six is not there. Kada you can have three. So you can have one, three, seven, three, seven, eight, three, seven, nine, uh, three, eight, nine, and seven, eight, nine because you can also select nine. Now you have four here. So five is and four, six, ten. You can have one, three, seven, three, seven, eight. Three seven nine, three eight nine, and seven eight nine. You have five years. So five plus five plus one, eleven should be the answer. Hmm? Two. Now, what is the condition with respect to five? If I dish five is in the buffet, neither dish two nor dish ten can be in the buffet. Five and two only go together. Clear? Any doubts? Okay. E E and E certainly have a challenging question. Another one. Remaining all, you can solve. Clear? Now, can I move to next set? Because I want you guys to understand the logic behind everything. Any sir, doubts? Here, uh, uh, sir, here if we have four in the set, can we hmm. have? Nine. No, it's not mandatory that if four is selected, nine should also be selected. If nine is selected, then you need to have four. You cannot have nine without four. Okay. So, if you have nine, you also need to have four. And if nine is selected, then you need to select four as well. Now, the other logical deduction would be, if four is not selected, you cannot select nine. Clean. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. How many of you did not solve this? Okay, again, I'll give you six minutes. We'll discuss this after six minutes.
Now, what are these values? 300, 450, 150, 300, and 600. Amount carried by each of the five persons when they went to market. So, market he has 300, Manoj Degar 450, Dijima 150, Anil 300, Summer 600.
Answer. Hmm. So five five friends A M R A S went to market carrying different amounts with them. Uh, each one of them spent different amount at the market. Amounts carried by each of these five persons are three hundred, four fifty, one fifty, three hundred and six hundred. Are the cutte? If table draws for that, you need that graph. And now we are given with. Some conditions. The person who spent the lowest amount spent fifty percent less than the person who spent the highest amount. So you have five persons, and let me consider that this person spent the highest amount. Okay. So the person who spent the lowest amount spent fifty percent less than the less than this person. Color. So highest is hundred x this one. Okay. In the case because six is to seven only. And I have seen twenty percent somewhere, twenty percent only. So instead of considering two x, consider this as hundred x. Okay. So this person spent fifty x. Done. Now the person who spent the second highest amount spent twenty percent less than the amount spent uh, by the high uh, person with the highest amount. So this is eighty x. Done. The sum of the amounts spent by the persons who spent the second highest and second lowest amounts is seventy. Okay. So if I consider this as y, eighty x plus y should be seventy. Okay. Now the ratio amount of amount spent by the person spending the second lowest and third lowest are in the ratio six is to seven. So instead of considering this as y, six y, seven y. The difference in the amount spent by the person spending the lowest amount and third highest amount. 
okay is 10 okay so 7y minus 50x is equal to 10 now you have two variables you need two equations to solve for x and y ekkada undadi third statement the sum of the uh, okay ikkada varike chadavanu second highest and second lowest is rupees 70 so 80x plus 6y is equal to 70 okay so you have two equations two variables what is the value of y five. value of y is 5 okay value of x half okay so this will be 50 40 35 30 25 now you have the amount spent by these five persons okay now the amount spent by summer is not a perfect square okay summer is not 25 manoj spent only 50 okay so he spent 50 manoj is highest okay pon ikkada kuda rasukunna this is manoj then what do we have Uh, Amit spent less than eleven uh, percent of his amount, and the person who spent the least amount spent the highest percent amount available with him or her. So who spent the least? Ridhima, because amount spent by the uh, amount that the person is having should be the highest for the person who spent the lowest. Okay, so twenty-five denominator taku ondal. Kada so twenty-five by one fifty into hundred will be more than. Either and remaining spent by the amounts with them initially into hundred. So I can say that Ridhima spent twenty five rupees. Is that enough? Amit thirty. Yeah. Okay. So Amit spent less than eleven percent until less than thirty three. So you have only thirty. Okay. So now we are done with this. Only one person spent more than fifteen percent of the. Amount, okay. So thirty fifteen percent का तो fifteen की fifteen percent, uh, okay. At least two percent spent, uh, more amount than summer. Okay. So what are we left with? Thirty five and forty. Okay. So only one person spent more than fifteen percent of his amount. Who is that person? Ridima. So everyone should spend less than fifteen percent of the amount. Then, is ना ना atla now we are left with 40 and in so 40 and 35 migle okay okay ha at least two persons spent more than summer kada so summer should be 35 and anil should be 40 so you will have anil and manoj spending more amounts than summer and this complete the set so all these four are easy sets if you need to leave any question that should be the first question adi pada difficult em kad but you need a lot of time to solve that question ridhima sir okay so uh who spend the least amount spend the highest percent amount uh, amount available with him or her So, twenty-five by, for example, three hundred. This one, I am counting. Twenty-five is what percent of three hundred? One by twelve. One by twelve, one day, eight point something. And that should be the highest of all. That is highest of eight point three three. Kaad kada. So you will have some more person who has spent, for example, uh, Anil. This one, three hundred and forty. So Anil has spent more than ten percent with him. Kada. But the person who spend the lowest should have the highest percent amount. Uh, should spend the highest percent amount with her. And the twenty-five by amount with her should be the highest. Eper o thunne only when the denominator is minimum. Minimum mele den kundi one twenty-five. Clear? Sir, I have a doubt here. Please tell me ma. There is a statement that is. The amount spent by summer isn't a perfect square multiple of a rupee. rupee. What is okay. that multiple of a rupee, sir? 
and it is not some perfect square into one that means so perfect square only right like the perfect square only. Mm -hmm. okay sir hmm ha rithima na logic kada kada that is the logic kada denominator should be minimum ha least amount spent should be the highest portion available ante appudu appudu konni values meedu kuda depend ayi untadu kada మినిమం అమౌంట్ అది ఓకే నా ట్వంటీ ఫైవ్ అలా వచ్చింది డిడ్ యూ గెట్ అ వాల్యూ బై అసెంప్షన్ యూ డిన్ గెట్ అ వాల్యూ వాల్యూ రాలేదు ఏది ఆగండి కొట్టుకున్నాం ఓకే సో స్టూడెంట్స్ ఆన్లైన్ ఎనీ డౌట్స్ నో సో ఓకే సో ఈ పేపర్ ఈజీ ఒప్పుకుంటారు కదా సో థర్టీ సిక్స్ మార్క్స్ రావచ్చు కదా ఎందుకు రాలేదు అన్నది కొంచెం అనలైజ్ చేయండి సో ప్లీజ్ కన్సిడర్ దిస్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ పేపర్ కష్టంగా వచ్చినప్పుడు మీరు మీకు ట్వెల్వ్ మార్క్స్ వచ్చినా ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ మార్క్స్ వచ్చినా పర్లేదు బట్ వెన్ ద పేపర్ ఈజ్ ఈజీ యూ షుడ్ నాట్ గెట్ లెస్ దాన్ ట్వంటీ ఫోర్ మార్క్స్ క్లియర్ సో లెట్స్ కాల్ ఇట్ అండ్ విల్ సీ యూ గైస్ ఇన్ ద నెక్స్ట్ క్లాస్